Hello and welcome to our channel. This time we present to you a recipe of making a spicy sauteed mutton which is cooked in a very simple way and even bachelors or hostlers can easily follow it. This recipe just calls for few basic ingredients but the final dish is really authentic in taste. So let's quickly get to the process of making a spicy sauteed mutton. In the first step, select the meat portion of your choice and make small cubes. After the cleaning and draining, let's take it to a bowl and get ready for the marination. Into the meat, I'm adding turmeric powder, coriander powder, red chilli powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, onion powder, fennel powder and lastly salt as per taste. Though it looks many but adding these spices gives the real authentic taste for this recipe. And yes, our next task is to mix and combine all the spices with the meat. Then if you have time, it's good to keep it to rest for 15 to 30 minutes. Or else, you can also directly start with the cooking process. In the meantime, I'm getting ready with some fresh coriander leaves. Now our next step is cooking the mutton. Here I'm using a pressure cooker for this. Let's add the marinated mutton into the pressure cooker. I'm adding some green chilies, the chopped coriander leaves and if you have curry leaves you may add them also. Though the meat has water content, I'm adding little water to help in the cooking process. Then it's time to pressure cook the meat. It took me about 8 to 10 minutes or you can cook till the meat is 90% done. Then in the meantime, let's continue with the other preparations. For this recipe, I am taking about 2 to 3 onions, clean and then chop them to thin slices. Also, it's good to get ready with the tomatoes as well, chop them to smaller pieces. Then our next step is to saute them. So heat the pan at medium, pour in the cooking oil. As the oil is heated, add the chopped onion. Saute them at medium to low heat. This may take about 3 to 5 minutes. I suggest to keep stirring in between for an even cooking. Saute it till they are soft and translucent. Now we are almost there and it's time to add the remaining portion of the spices. I'm using almost the same spices in this step also. And that's why I said this recipe is very simple and easy even for bachelors and for beginners. I'm adding turmeric powder, coriander powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, roasted fennel powder, red chilli powder and salt as per taste. And in roasting these spices you get a nice aroma and also it adds flavour to the dish. So I remind you not to skip this step. After roasting the spices let's add the chopped tomatoes. I'm also adding some green chilies for an extra spice. Let's continue with the cooking till they become soft. And also the oil will start to release from them. And as the oil starts to release, reduce the heat from medium to low. Or you can off the flame and wait. 
till the meat in the pressure cooker is ready. Here for me the meat was almost done. It was cooked to 90% and ready for the next stage. So simply add the meat and the contents of the pressure cooker into the cooking pan. Keep at low flame and combine the cooked meat with the spices. By this time you can really feel the aroma and the flavor of the dish. Just fold them in and we are done. Off the flame and garnish with some freshly chopped coriander leaves. Then wait for what? Serve it hot and enjoy with your family or friends. It's an amazing combo with flatbreads, chapati, roti and even rice. I tell you, this recipe is worth trying if you're craving for an authentic taste but lazy to carry on with the traditional and long cooking process. Hope you will try this and share with us your feedbacks. Thank you for being with us. See you soon in our next video. Until then, take care.